In today's video on two-step equations, you can see that they look kind of similar to our previous equations, but instead of a number being directly attached to our variable, our variable is being divided by a number. That means that our second step today will wind up being multiplication instead of division. So let's get to it. In number seven, the first thing we're going to do is remove the 10 from the right-hand side. So we're going to have to subtract 10 from both sides. We're removing a positive 10. 6 minus 10 is negative 4, and we still have our v over 2. To undo the divide by 2, we'll now multiply both sides by 2 and find out that v has a value of negative. It's a positive times a negative negative 8. In number 8, our first step is to remove the positive 9, leaving the x over 4 by itself. 10 minus 9 is, of course, 1. Our second step is to multiply both sides by the 4 so that we can undo the divide by 4. And that gets us a final answer of x equals 4. I invite you to pause the video and attempt numbers 9 and 10. In number 9, we'll begin by adding 1 to both sides so that our k over 5 is alone and negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Now we can get the k alone by multiplying both sides by 5. We're going to get negative 15 is equal to k. In number 10, we begin by subtracting 9 from both sides, and that's going to get us the fact that 1 is equal to a over 8. We'll then multiply both sides by 8 to get the statement that 8 is equal to a. And there are word problems. So let's see, Amy was going to sell all of her stamp collection to buy a video game. After selling half of them, she changed her mind. She then bought 13 more. How many does she start with if she now has 36? Okay, so she had a certain number of stamps. She sold half of them, which means she cut what she had in half. Then she bought, so she gained 13 more. And she now has 36. So our question is, what did she start with? Well, here's our equation. Let's solve it. We'll subtract 13 from each side to get s over 2 is equal to 23. Then we'll multi multiply, sorry, multiply both sides by 2 to get s is equal to 46. Number 12, very similar setup, so feel free to pause the video and try it. Jenny had some stamps. She sold half of them, so she cut what she had in half. She divided by two. Then she added 10 more to her collection. She currently has 29. We will subtract 10 from both sides of this equation to get s over two is equal to 19. And our last step is gonna be to multiply both sides of this equation by two to find out that she started with 38 stamps.